Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Shana Renee and we are back for another video. But obviously it's a sit down video. I haven't dropped one of these in a while and I definitely wanted to just sit down, talk to you guys for a little bit while I show you guys what I got in Paris. By the time you guys watch this video, you should have already seen the Paris vlog and got a little good idea of the behind the scenes of everything that I did while I was there. But now I just wanna show you guys what I got, what I was gifted and just talk about the whole experience in general. You know, shopping in Europe is like a totally different experience. The prices are better, the vibes are better, the customer service is top tier, and you get like new releases, you know? So it's just a really great experience. So before I get into everything, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for the vibes as always. And let's just get straight into it. I'm gonna start with my vintage pieces. Actually, no, let's start with what I was gifted first. Then we'll get into my vintage pieces, and then we'll get into my designer pieces, and then I'll tell you guys like the pricing, how I found the places, all that good stuff, and then yeah, so let's get right into it. So first things first, if you watched the Paris vlog, you guys would have seen that I went to a Rusa Maginski showroom slash presentation where they gave me all the behind the scenes of their new collection that's coming. They have a lot of great hats coming, guys, by the way, like their collection eats the girls up. So while I was there, um, I basically looked at all their hats, tried on a bunch of hats, and they were so nice enough to give me four hats they were super generous and i love that for me um i'm wearing one of them right now this is their baker boys hat with the gemstones so we were able to pick hats from their previous collection not the new collection which is completely understandable because they have not been mass produced as yet they were just out for display so i was able to choose this one as well as three other hats that i will show you guys right now I'm just so thankful to them because I really love the Ruslan Baginski brand and I've supported the brand and I've worn their hats in Paris back in 2021. So now, fast forward two years later to be able to be invited to their showroom, get gifted and, you know, just learn more about the brand is just like a great experience and I really love that. So I was also gifted this other beautiful hat from them and I've always wanted this specific colorway for so so long but it was just never available in my size and if you guys know these specific patterns not patterns this specific texture which is satin and style with the rhinestones and the gems on the side are very expensive I think they run for about four to five hundred US dollars so to get these for free was just like a OD come up really love you guys at Rusum against be the team shout out to you guys again so these were the two baker boy hats that i got i couldn't wait to wear this and put together a little look you know i did a little tiktok video so check out my tiktok for this outfit if you want all the details but look at the matching look at the earrings matching with the shirt it's just a little look you know they were also gifted me two beanies so this is a black and red one that I've been wearing literally every day since I got it in Paris. Really cute. I love the material, just the stitching. Just a regular beanie. Throw it on. My big head already stretched it out because I also got a blue one. And you could see the size difference from me not wearing this one and me wearing this one like all the time. So yes, I also got these two beanies from them. So in total, these are the four hats that I was gifted from Muslim Baginski. Um, this blue one has a little yellow stitch detailing that says Ruslan Baginski, and this one has the red. Super, super cute. So now let me show you guys everything that I got from my vintage thrift shop session that I did. I went on um, vintage thrifting, I think on one Sunday when I was in Paris, and I kept it, I came up with some good things, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm really excited about that, so let me show you guys those stuff right now. So first things first, I went to this one vintage shop called Nuovo. This is the tag, and this is the price of the pins that I got. It was 195 euros. These are vintage Just Cavalli jeans. Do you guys see the pattern on these? And I got to take these to the cleaners ASAP. They have a funky smell on them, I'm not gonna lie. That's the thing about vintage thrift shopping. They always have like this old kind of smell to them, but once you get it, take it to the cleaners and just wash it, you're good to go. But it has the gold metallic detailing on the jeans. And uh, 
if you guys know, Metallic is making a really big comeback right now. So I wanna try to get some like gold metallic heels to go with the gold metallic detailing on the pants. And I really think this look will be such a vibe. These pants are super, super long. So they go all the way down so I could really wear some very long pants with them. They have the, of course, the Just Cavalli logo right here on the back, which is a very iconic patch. You know exactly what it is when you see this. So this is the first item I got. Second thing I got was from another thrift shop, actually. And these were from a thrift shop called Kilo Shop. Um, they had just more like really run down vintage stuff, very grungy, really old pieces. And when I tried these jeans on, I really fell in love with the pattern. And besides the pattern, these jeans just fit me perfectly. Like I literally didn't, don't have to do any tailoring to these jeans. So that's another thing that really made me fall in love with these. I paid 49 euros for these, which I expected them to be cheaper. But like I said, these are like one of ones. When I wear these, nobody else will have them because it's just so unique. I feel like this design, I feel like, I don't know, it's not like consistent throughout. So it makes me feel like somebody actually made the pants themselves, like with like watercoloring or something. I don't know, but really unique. They're high-waisted, super, super cute. Really love them. Now, this is when it gets really, really good because I didn't even see this. Actually, Sharice picked this out on the rack and was like, girl, you didn't see this outfit? And I'm like, no, I didn't. But this is one of my top favorites that I got. It is a Just Cavalli denim jacket set. Oh, guys, when I tell you I can't wait to dress this up, like, just look at this denim jacket. You guys see the patch detailing on the side. It says Just Cavalli. It has, like, some silver dolphins. And this is not dolphins. This is a seahorse. So yeah, seahorse and dolphin right here. And it says just Cavalli with another patch. Really, really love this. Like this jacket is so unique. And this is from, I don't even know what year this is from, honestly. It's given like 2004 vibes. Let me see if the tag has any information. Yeah, it doesn't, but so good. So anyway, the back has like this um, button detailing on the back. Oh my God. It's really the details for me. So of course, I also have to get the matching skirt for it. So I'm debating between keeping the skirt in this long length that it already is in or shortening it into a mini skirt. So right now it's like knee length, but I feel like it will really eat. I get it tailored at the waist and turn it into a mini skirt. That will be such a look. So yeah, that's what I got from this other thrift shop called, I forgot the name of that thrift shop, but if I remember it, I'll leave it in the description box for you guys, so that way if you guys wanna go. But I also made a TikTok about the place as well, so you can definitely check it out as well. So I also got this ring from one of the Venture thrift shops, and I also got this necklace from one of the venture shops too, as well as another pair of earrings that I need to go grab and show you guys, so one second. So these were the other earrings. When I saw these, I was like, no, I need these heart earrings. They're such a statement and they can go really well. Even like with this outfit, if I wanted to switch out the earrings, like, come on. Stop playing. So these are the earrings I got. And I'm really stepping into my accessories era this year. More statement earrings, rings, necklaces, because I'm starting to realize that these things really help hold the outfits together. So definitely have you on my accessories right now. So that was everything that I got for my vintage lifted finds. Let's step into things that were brand new that I actually purchased. So while on my trip to Paris, I had to stop into Kith Paris. Kith in Paris is so amazing. I live in Atlanta, we do not have a Kith. And when I used to live in New York, I used to go to Kith all the time. So I was so excited to stop in there to see what they had. And when I tell you that store is amazing, they have everything from watches, home decor, designer shoes, designer bags, everything like walking into that kids Paris is kind of like being in like a mini sacks like that's how much variety they had oh, my necklace so sorry guys my necklace is giving me some issues so what I ended up getting from kids Paris are these really cute Nike Air Force one is it Air Force ones no what are these what's the name of these shoes 
The um ups. Okay. Um, ups. Oh, no, what's the what's the other name for them? It's called ups. I know, but there's another name. Air Force Ones. Yes, that's why I said the right thing. Um, ups. These are these are. Yeah. I got a pair of ups, but um, usually if it's over, you'll say a pair of white ups. But these are Nike Air Force Ones, like I said. Um, so yeah, these are the shoes. Really, really cute. Love them so much. I really love the pink detailing. I don't know what it is with pink in me recently, but we go together real bad. And I really think that these pants and these shoes will really look really cute together after I get the pants um, tailored. I got these in a woman's size seven. And when I saw these shoes, I'm like, no, I need to add these to my collection. Cause you can never go wrong with a good pair of sneakers. Like I feel like I always need sneakers. All right, guys, last but not least, you know your girl had to do a little bit of designer shopping and I stopped in at Prada while I was in the airport, actually. I had no intention of buying anything designer, but when I went in the airport, I'm like, you know, why would we come all the way to Paris and not just splurge a little, like, the, the rates and the exchange rates, whatever you wanna call it, are just so good. And it just makes shopping just really worth it, especially for designer stuff because it's so much more cheaper so of course i had to get me some sunnies if you guys follow me on tiktok you guys know my outfit is not complete without a pair of sunglasses so had to get some sunnies i really wanted a pair of bottega frames because if you guys know bottega's sunglasses are com are really like a statement but they didn't have any in the airport so prada won this time around with these gorgeous frames. They have like a crack detailing in them. They're just like so good. Look at them. I'm gonna try them on for you guys right now. Like what? Like what, let's keep it a buck. They're just too boring, got them stuck in a rut. Okay, ice ice. <laughs> yeah, like these are cute. I really love these. I like the green. I don't have any green glasses. And like I said, I wanted them to be like a statement. So even if I wanted to wear like an all black look, my glasses are the focus. So yes, I really, really love these. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this purchase. I can't wait to put a look together and wear these together. It's gonna be such a vibe. And then last but not least, the other item I got from Prada a pair of shoes even though i said i wasn't going to do any more designer shoes because the resale value on them sucks these shoes were just i couldn't leave them after i tried them on like when i looked at them on the shelf i was like uh, i don't think i want those when i put them on my feet and they were like so comfortable i said let me get them these are the prada i call them the puff slides because they're puffy and I just think they're so classic. They're really comfortable. These will make a really good airport shoe. Even if you just wanna go out for casual drinks with friends, you could throw them on. It has a nice little Prada logo. You cannot go wrong with that. So that's what makes it super, super classic. I see myself wearing this a lot in the fall and the spring. So really excited about these. I got these in a size 38, which is my true size. And I just really can't wait to put a look together with all my pieces. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul of everything that I got in Paris. Wasn't much, but it's cloudy over quantity because all these pieces hit, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.